Hello friends, welcome back to our tutorial designing an impressive architectural building in Revit 2018 metro. If you have been following along, go and open the file 00 underscore 047 underscore DIAB underscore M where you save it. You can also download this file from the website. Click the file tab, have the mouse cursor to save us and select project. This brings the save project as dialog box. Rename this file to 00 underscore 048 underscore DIAB underscore M. Click the save button. Open the ground floor view. In this tutorial, we're going to greet railings for our project. But before we greet the railings, let's place some columns in the verandas. Right click the reference plane, select grid similar. Go to the draw panel and select the pick line command. Set the offset distance to 150 millimeter. Zoom in into this area. Right click the reference plane, grid similar. Go to the draw panel and select the pick line command. Set the offset distance to 150 millimeter. Pick the edge of this slab. This lab, this lab, this lab, and this lab. Do the same thing at the back of this veranda. Click the modify button. Select the reference plane and click on this arrow to enter to meet this other reference plane. Click on this circle and move it to snap to this other reference plane. Now click the architectural tab, building panel, click the down arrow on that column and select architectural column. Go to the property palette, click down and shout for a column. We don't have any column that we can use into this project. Now click the load button, click the up one level button and double click the US metric, double click the column folder and select the first column. Use a down arrow key to scroll through the different columns. Select the first column, the metal clad column, and click open. Zoom in into this area and pick the intersection of this reference plane to place the column. Click the modify button. Go to the modify panel and select the align command. Click on this reference plane and find the center of the column to align it. We need to snap the, to align it to this other reference plane. Now select this reference plane, click on this circle and snap it to, and align it to this other reference plane. Zoom out, select this reference plane, click this circle to align it at this point. Select the, mod, the align command and select this reference plane. Have, click on the column to align it. Click the modify button. Go to the grid access toolbar and click the default 3D view to see the result. Zoom closer to see the result. As you can see, the column is too big. So we need to reduce the column. Select the column, go to the property palette and click the edit type. Change the diameter of the column to 300 millimeter. Click apply and click OK to see the result. Click the X button to close this view. Select this column. Go to the modify panel and select the mirror draw axis. And draw, start the axis at the center of this slab. Use the, set, the midpoint object snap to snap the midpoint of the edge of this slab. Now move the mouse cursor in this direction. Make sure that the angle is 45 degree and click to mirror this column to the opposite side. Now select both column and select the mirror draw axis command. Use the midpoint to at the mid edge of this lab. Move the mouse cursor down vertical and click. Revit mirror the two column the other side. Click the modify button. Select the column. Click create similar in the grid panel and place this column around here. Click the modify button, select the align command, select this reference plane and align the column. Select this reference plane, align this column. 
click modify select the colon go to the modify panel and select the mirror draw axis use the midpoint object snap to snap the midpoint of the edge of this slab then move the mouse cursor into the direction of 45 degree or 335 and click the column is being mirrored to this side with the mirrored column C selected hold down your control key and select this column go to the modify panel and select the mirror draw axis click the edge of this slab and move up and click go to the modify panel and select the align command select this reference plane pick this column select this and pick this column again All right, now the column is in the right place. Let's go to the default 3D view to see the results. Hold on the shift key and your middle mouse button to orbit around. Go to the top left corner of the window and click the X button to close this view. Use a window selection to select this column. Click the filter button, check none, check column, click OK. Go to the clipboard panel and select the copy command. Revit copy this four column to the clipboard now go to the default 3d view click the down arrow on that paste and select align to select a level select first floor and click ok go to the project browser and double click the rear elevation zoom closer as you can see the, the column go through the beam select the column and change the top offset let's try a top offset of minus 300 and see the results Change the top of this to minus 450. Move the mouse cursor away from the property value to see the results. Go to the quick access toolbar and select the align dimension command. Dimension this, this column to the beam to know the difference that's left. Press escape. Now select the column. Right click. Select all instance in an entire project. This will select all the columns in this project. In the top offset, click this input and type minus 400 millimeter. Move the mouse cursor away from the property palette to see the results. Click the X button to return to the floor plan. Now go to the architectural tab, circulation panel and select railing. Go to the draw panel and select the pick line command. Zoom in closer and set the offset distance to 100 millimeter and pick the edge of this slab. Zoom out. Click on this node and move it down. Zoom in into this area. Click this node and move it back. Now click, click the green check mark to see the results. Go to the default 3D view. Hold down the shift key and your middle mouse button to orbit to the front part of the building. The railing is being drawn, but we don't need this type of railing. To change this railing, select the railing. Go to the property panel, click the down arrow and select the glass panel bottom fill. The railing is automatically updated. Close this view. Now right click on this railing and do it similar. Click and change the offset distance to 100 millimeter. Offset the edge of this lab inside. Click on this node to move the railing backward. Click this node to move it back in this direction. Click the green check mark. With the release still selected, click the grid similar command. Click the pick line command on the draw panel and change the offset distance to 100 millimeter. Click the edge of this floor. Move the railing backward and click the green check mark. Click the grid similar. Go to the draw panel and select the pick line command. Set the offset distance to 100 millimeter. Pick the edge of this slab. Click to move it backward. Click the green check mark. Zoom out. Pan the drawing down and zoom in into this area. With the railing still selected, select grid similar. Select the pick line command and set the offset distance to 100 millimeter. Offset the railing inside, click on this railing to move it out and move this out. Click the green check mark. Click the grid similar command again. Set the offset distance to 100 millimeter. Offset this down, click the green check mark. Select grid similar, pick line command, set the offset distance to 100 millimeter. Offset this inside and click the green check mark. Go to the default 3D view to see the results.
Hold down the shift key and your middle mouse button to orbit. The railings at the front are okay. We need to change the railing at the back because we don't want the glass railing in this kitchen or traffic area. So select this railing. Hold down the control key and select this railing. This railing. Click the down arrow and change this railing to 900 millimeter. Click the down arrow again. Change to 900 millimeter pipe and see the result. With the railing still selected, go to the clipboard panel and select the copy command. Click the down arrow and select align to the selected level. Select first floor and click OK. Go to the project browser and double click the first floor view to open that view. Zoom in into this area. Click the modify button. Select one of the railing and select create similar. Go to the drop panel and select the pick line command. Change the offset value to 100 millimeter. Offset this railing inside. Click to the green check mark. The railing is still selected. Right click and select grid similar. Zoom out and zoom in into this area. Go to the drop panel and select the peak line command. Set the offset distance to 100 millimeter. Offset this edge down. Now zoom out, click on this node and move it into this portion. Click the green check mark. Go to the default 3D view to see the results. So far so good, we have created the railing for our project. In the next tutorial, we're going to greet a fissure for our roof. If you like this tutorial, please click the like button and share it to your friend. If you have any question, please leave a comment below. If you want to continue this tutorial or any other tutorial on my channel, please subscribe. Thanks very much for watching. I hope to see you in the next class. Goodbye.